We have here a related rates free response question. In fact, all three sections of this problem are related rates, and to my knowledge, this is the only such free response question the College Board has put out in recent years where all three sections are related rates. So there are a couple of things to keep in mind at the outset. Uh, namely, it's important to understand uh, formulas for volume and surface area of the various parts involved. Here, the one key formula is that the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. And even though that's given in this problem, it's still useful for students to come in to problems of this kind with those, those formulas memorized. Second, let's remember that our approach for doing related rates problem is in order to connect the rates, first start by simply connecting the quantities in question, and then we'll take d by dt of both sides of the equation that we get from that formula. Uh, the only other thing that's given to us initially is that the height is decreasing at a constant rate of negative three-tenths throughout the entire course of the work. So let's go ahead and start. Part A is really a kind of warm-up problem where all we have to do is determine the volume when h equals 5. So the volume when h equals 5 is 1 3rd pi r squared h again when h equals 5. So clearly we can plug in for h and we know these constants, the 1 3rd pi, the question is what is r? Here it's important to see that there is a proportionality because the water in this container adheres to the shape of the container. There is a proportionality between r and h that is constant throughout the problem. Namely, when the height is 10, the radius is 5, and therefore as the height goes down, the radius goes down in proportion. So this one fact, the fact that the radius is always going to be equal to one half of the height throughout is really the key insight that makes this problem a straightforward one. So let's plug in. We have V um, for H equals 5 equals 1 third pi. Now what is R when H equals 5? R is going to be 5 halves. And H, of course, is 5. So that gives us 125 um, pi over 12. And they explicitly ask us for the units, so let's be sure to not leave those out. That takes care of part A. Now the meat of the problem, the bulk of the problem, is part B, where they want to know the rate of change of the volume of the water in the container at a particular moment in time. So we start with the formula again for volume. We know that that is one-third pi r squared h, and now we're simply going to take the derivative with respect to time of both sides of that equation. Our result is that dv dt equals one-third pi times uh, d by dt of r squared h. We can use the product rule followed by the chain rule. So we know that that's going to be 2r dr dt times h plus r squared dh dt. All right, well, let's see where we stand. We are looking for dv dt, so it's fine that we don't know that. These constants are known, 1 3rd pi. R, R at this instant that they're interested in is 5 halves. dr dt, we'll leave that out for a second. H, we're given, it's 5. R, again, we know is 5 halves. And that's going to be squared in this case. And then we're looking for dh dt. All right, so dh dt is given 
as negative 3 tenths. And all that leaves is the unknown is a dr dt. Well, here's where we make use of this key proportionality. Uh, since r is 1 half h, dr dt is also going to be 1 half dh dt. And so for dr dt, we put in 1 half negative 3 tenths. So we can solve for dv dt pretty straightforwardly now. Let's bring this 1 third pi. And then I'm going to move the 3 tenths out to the uh, edge since it's present in both terms that negative three tenths I don't want the minus sign messing up my calculation so now I just have the other parts of this problem so the two and the one half cancel and what I have is uh, 25 twentieths plus 25 fourths times that 3 tenths. And so that's what, uh, 75 fourths. These threes cancel out. And so that's going to be a negative pi times 75 over 40 and I can further simplify that to negative pi uh, times 15 over 8 they asked for units let's be sure to include them uh, the units of volume are centimeters cubed and it's per hour that we're given the rate and there's our answer part C just requires a little thinking before we start we want to show that the rate of change of the volume, dv dt, is directly proportional to the exposed surface area of the water. So what is the exposed surface area of the water? The exposed surface area of the water is the top of this uh, volume of water. It's, it's pi r squared. And so we want to show that dv dt equals k times pi r squared. Well, from part b we have uh, d by dt of the volume is d by dt of one-third pi r squared h and we're going to want to express this entire thing in terms of r's because we want to show that there's a constant of proportionality so we're going to rewrite that as d by dt of one-third pi r squared and then what is h? h is twice the radius so we have dv dt equals uh, two-thirds pi times d by dt of r cubed or in other words it equals um, 3r squared equals 2 thirds pi times 3r squared dr dt okay. well the threes cancel and we have uh, dv dt equals 2 pi times r squared 
dr dt. And what do we know about dr dt? dr dt is half of dh dt. So it's uh, negative 3 twentieths. And the 2 over the 20 gives us a tenth here. And so finally we have dv dt equals negative 3 tenths pi r squared. Well, this is the area. So constant of proportionality is the constant is negative 3 tenths.